Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome back. I hope you're having a thriving Thursday so far. Best buddies, portraits, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A Best Buddies call-out meeting during community is on this Friday in the cafeteria. If you are interested at all in joining Best Buddies, make sure to contact your community teacher to receive an application. And remember, if you would like to join any club at some point this year, you must have a drug testing form turned in and on file by this Friday. Portraits are today for all grade levels. Seniors, a pass was given to you yesterday at some point throughout the day, so make sure you go at your scheduled time. You are able to get your yearbook on johnsonyearbook.com, which is linked in the chatter or in the bookstore for $30. Don't miss out. Now to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Last night, <laughs> the Lady Hot Dogs soccer team opened up Sagamore Conference play with the visiting Crawfordsville Athenians. The game started off fast with the Lady Hot Dogs controlling the ball and getting plenty of shots, just none finding the back of the net in the first 20 minutes of the game. The Athenians got on the board first when they converted a free kick off a foul just outside the penalty area. The game stayed 1-0, Athenians led at the halftime. The second half was just as competitive as the first, but more physical, with both teams drawing multiple fouls. Sophomore goalie Clarissa Castaneda came up with two huge saves, keeping the game 1-0. The saves by Clarissa fired up the team, who went down and scored a goal. With five minutes left, when Natalie Cruz finally managed to bang a ball into the back of the net after a small scrum in front of the goal to equalize. Regulation ended in a one-on-one -on -one tie. Conference rules follow state tournaments overtime rules, so two seven-minute periods followed. With three minutes left of overtime, Natalie Cruz repeated her heroics, cleaning up a battle in front of the net to score her second goal of the night and the game winner. Good job to her. Also, last night, the Hot Dogs tennis team played McCutcheon. There were some nice moments on the two double courts for Isai Jimenez and Kelby Santos. The two dubs never gave up and continued to find ways to score. Although they fell short, it was a good effort on their part. Edwin Wainscott, Wainscott showed much improvement in his singles match. And at the three singles slot, Jackson Ray played an extremely intense match as he was able to fight through the first set and win the tie break. When he came on strong and broke McCutcheon's serve to take over the second set and win his match. Good job to him. The tennis team is back in action Tuesday the 30th at Western Boone. Now to Emily for the daily forecast. Happy Thursday, hot dogs. This morning, it started in the lower 60s with mostly clear skies and a couple of small foggy spots. In the afternoon, we will hit 78 degrees and it'll carry on throughout the evening. It'll also be dry throughout most of the day. There's a 50% chance of rain later tonight. That's all for weather. Now to Nelson for some more sports news. Thanks, Emily. The boys soccer team are in action tonight, traveling to North Montgomery to face the Chargers. The game will begin at 5.30. The girls' volleyball team is here at home tonight against the Delphi Oracles. Make sure you come out and support the girls. Sit in the student section. The, th the theme is camo. Let's get a big crowd for the Lady Dogs. The game will begin at 6 for the JV Star and a varsity follow. Again, sit in the student section. Tomorrow night, the football team is on the road traveling to Clinton Prairie. This is a county rivalry. Make sure you guys come out and support. Kickoff is at 7. We'd love to see all your faces there. Make sure you sit in the student section and be loud. The theme for the game is neon. Bring all your bright colors and sit in the student section, dogs. That's all for sports. Now back to your hosts. Students, make sure you are always checking your Gmails for any and all updates on possible college visits or meetings that are able to be scheduled. Places like IUK, Manchester, Ivy Tech, Hanover, Ball State, Butler, and Indiana Tech, and soon to be more. You are able to sign up for these in Ms. McGuire's office. Tag, tutoring, and clubs have already begun. Please look over the list of clubs that we are currently offering and sign up if you're interested in attending any of the clubs at some point this year. Even if you have participated in a club the last year, please make sure to sign up again this year. You do not need to sign up for tutoring, but if you live outside the city and will require transportation, please email Ms. Everett. A happy birthday goes out to McKenna Turley and Mariana Mora Lopez. For lunch today, in lines one and two, there will be soft tacos. Line three will be a salad bar or chicken, rice and soup, and in line four, a baked potato bar. That's all for today, hot dogs. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you're notified when we upload. I'll see you tomorrow. Here's to Cruz in, in, in traffic, just like last again. time. Shot in! Cruz Score! Goal number.
number two for Natalie Cruz. It puts the hot dogs ahead. Rebound, she has to get on top of it, does Castaneda, and she does. Tries to cross it in, cleared back out again. Five seconds, three seconds. Inside the penalty area, Castaneda gets her hands on it, and that will do it. And the Frankfurt Hot Dogs survive.